on guys welcome back to the channel thank you very much for stopping in short video for you today but before we get into it i want to remind you or just let you know that we got a lot of good stuff coming up over the next few days so it's going to make for some pretty good content races shows meets uh retune at soho motorsports a lot of cool stuff so please stick around uh, watch this video subscribe thumbs up all of that hopefully this video today is helpful for you I think everybody knows on these Infinity cars that the the technology, the touchscreen thing can be a little bit weird. Uh, we get all sorts of different uh, maintenance uh, uh, alerts and and lights and oil and filter change lights and all sorts of stuff like that. I want to let you know today how to reset them and adjust them so they're not always bugging you. So you can see I have the maintenance oil and filter light coming up. It's not saying anything is wrong with the oil or the filter. There's no, it's not a check engine light, disregard these. We have the car off, it's just uh, with the cluster on. So I just wanna walk you through um, the little cluster here, the little um, uh, the icons to show you how to clear this and show you what some different things do uh, in case you're not aware. So we got the home screen here um, and I'll show you one thing first. The whole goal of this is to get that warning light off the dash. So you go to the maintenance note and maintenance and you can go to all parts or you know it's the oil and filter. So you click engine oil, you check your dates, you have it set at 3000. We have 2,977 uh, miles left. I pushed it all the way out to October 25th. And you know what, the, the, the maintenance light is still on. You would think if once you reset these little parameters here that that light would go off, but no luck. Well, that's because this isn't where, this isn't the screen uh, where you take care of that. So what you wanna do is go back to the home screen. One more. And go to settings and go to meter. Who would guess this, right? Go to meter, then maintenance, and now you can see why that light is on. For the oil and filter, I have it set for 3,500 miles. I just wanted a reminder at 3,500 so I kind of remember where I was. I don't like the stickers in the window. I change my own oil and filters, um, and you know, sometimes I write it down, sometimes I don't. We got this fancy little handy dandy uh, thing right here built into our center console area, so we might as well use it. So again, 3,500 is a reminder. I like to change the oil in these cars every four to 5,000 miles, depending on how rough you are on them. Um, but nonetheless, this is why that light is flashing because we've reached that 3,500 mile mark. So if you wanna get that light to shut off, you can either reset the distance, Ooh, takes it away, look at that. Um, it'll start over at 3,500 miles, or you can you know, just adjust however you'd like. So since we're already at 3,500 miles and I just reset it, I'm gonna bring it back down to give us another 1,000 miles, how about that? So once we get to 1,000 miles, I'll be ready to change oil. That is actually how you get that alert to shut off. What I'm gonna do now is turn the car on and make sure that that oil light is no longer on. Well, I'll be darned. So it's not through that main maintenance screen that you'd think uh, it would be under. You have to go through settings uh, and meter, then maintenance, and then adjust your parameters uh, accordingly. Now you can do a couple of other things uh, from that screen as well. One of the things that I like to shut off, or one of the annoying things that I've mentioned in a previous video, if you wanna go take a look at the things that bother me of or don't make sense about this car, uh, it's been a while since that video was posted, but uh, it, when it gets cold outside, and you know it's freezing, you walk out, the air gives you a heart attack, you can see your breath, the whole nine yards, the car in the dash tells you, um, you know, cold temperature warning or below freezing warning. It's like, oh, th thank you. Thank you for the reminder. If you want to shut that off so you don't have to deal with it all winter long, this is how you do it as well. So again, go to settings, go to meter, alarms, outside temperature alarm. You can, if it's highlighted, you're going to get that warning. If you shut it off like I have it, 
you're not going to get that warning anymore because you know what? The cold weather is enough to tell you that it's cold outside. That's it, guys. Hopefully that was helpful for you. I know uh, navigating some of these screens was a little annoying when I first got the car, too, trying to figure out what the hell to do to shut some of these lights off. They're not always where you'd expect them to be. So, again, hopefully it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Good things coming up. See you next time. Thanks.